My father's an engineer, my mom's a, an interior designer. So I was growing up with a lot of art and technology, you know, from both sides. And uh, I was looking for something that I, where I could combine these passions of mine and uh, utilize them for something productive. Most of the students that I have in the classroom have discovered that once you put creativity and logic together, you get product design. It's not just what it does. If you can't get them to touch it and pick it up, you can't get them to buy it. Why is this color beautiful? Why does the customer want to buy this? We have to make it emotionally satisfying because that's what humans want. It's about inventing, um, innovating, um, bringing uh, new ideas to the world that have not been seen before. You get to see your product come to life and you get to share it. And it's not just a concept in the computer, it's real. It's right there. You can touch it and you can see it from all around and you can make it work. The first two terms here is really what we call hardcore foundation. They take you from, you know, start to finish of the whole process of, you know, coming up with ideas, doing the research, doing the sketching, doing the modeling, doing the presentations, everything. We try to get through that as quickly as possible. The second half of the term is really just using the tools that we gave them and refining those things and having them plug and play and try out a bunch of different sort of shortcuts and have them figure out their own workflows. You always have to sort of update your knowledge and do more research. For that reason, I think it's more important to be extremely perceptive and open-minded to go into things without any preconceptions. Most of our faculty are not professional teachers, but teaching professionals. It brings basically very, very real life and applicable knowledge from the design industry directly into the classroom. They give you real life input on what's happening out there and what you could be doing about it, which is great because it helps you take that leap from being a student to being a professional. They're hard on us, which is a good thing. And then they're constantly giving us uh, amazing feedback and really they care about our work and uh, what we're doing. Our shop is very much state of the art when it comes to the newest technology for making. It's, it's really a candy store for anyone that's interested in making things. You get to use 3D printers of all kinds. They teach you how to use a CNC so you can make large scale models such as furniture. We have a really great shop with amazing instructors so that if you ever get stuck, they're there to help you. Sponsored projects at Art Center and in particular uh, with product design being involved are really a key differentiator for us. It's their chance to collaborate with students and faculty from other disciplines, but also have a real working relationship with those coming in from the industry. We are really striving to create designers who have a passion for wanting to change the things that need to be changed in this world, but also are free to imagine. We should create tools to help people solve bigger problems than us. We constantly have to question ourselves if what we're doing is right. I truly believe that design could be changing the world. Through design research, design thinking, we can be changing the lives of people around us. We can be changing the lives of people on the other side of the world and making it better. Design is a given now. And so it's all about how you interact with your team. It's all about how you interact with the product and how much passion you have. What are you really about? That's what's going to help build a, a really strong team. All the experiences that you've already had in your life, just bring that here and, and share it with everybody. I think passionate students, passionate about making and having a positive impact on the world around them, those are the type of students that I would be looking for in my classroom.